validation tools. As I mentioned before, we do have validation tools. The reason for this is usual you have a dynamic project. In that case, the PND should always be the main document and then you take the information to 3D. In the perfect world, that's the case, but in some cases you don't work in the perfect world. So, some cases the, in the project, then the 3D maybe is a little ahead because you haven't updated the PND and so on and so forth. That's one thing. Another thing is when the person don't use the benefit from bringing the information from PND, then he also can type wrong information compared to what's in the PND. So let's take a little look at the validation tools. When we select the project, we do have the validation. Pro we can do validate the project. We have validate settings. When you select the validate settings, it gives you ability to select the rules for what kind of what kind of validation you want to do. So in this case. You can do a validation on PND objects. You can also do a validation on AutoCAD objects. That means if you have AutoCAD lines, things like that, that will be highlighted in that another word thing you don't want to have in your project. Then you also can do a validation on tagged inline items are in the 3D model, but not in the PND, and of course, doper site. So this is the validation rule we want to run now for this moment. And remember, <coughs> we changed the tag number on this pipe, excuse me, on this valve. So let's run the validation. Validate the project. What's happened now is go through the whole project. So you check every PND drawing. We also check every 3D drawing if you have multiple 3D drawings, as you see here. And then it will give you a report. So when that's done, it comes up and do the validation. If you now take a look into the dialog box, then you will see what's the difference between the 3D and the 2D. If you take a look into the validation tools, you will see in the piping we have GA999, and we also, if you take a look at the PND, the valve is said is called GA349. If you take a look at that one, move this one, it's automatically zoom into the valve. This is the valve we actually created when we create the pipeline from the heat exchanger and to the tank. And if you then select this one, it's automatically zoom into the correct valve in the 3D model. And this is the valve. Now it's up to the user to select, okay, do you want to change the 3D valve to 349 or do I want to change the PND? In this case I want to change the PND so I just select the PND because it's actually correct in 3D. So I click on this one and assign I didn't need I don't need to know which PND drawing it automatically gives me the correct PND drawing and I give it the correct tag number and assign. Close this one then I close the drawing save it and then do a new validation and you will see this is fixed validate summary that gives you what was and then we do a new validation It now go through again the whole project, check every tag compared to the PND and the 3D. Same thing for the nozzles and equipment and so on. If you now look at the piping, it says we have none problem. So the problem is fixed.